Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well guys, today we are going to make the brand new Disney Princess doll because as you know Disney have just released their new full-length animation film Ryan the Last Dragon and we have finally got our first Southeast Asian Disney Princess character. Anyway, already before the premiere I had seen so many very hot discussions on different forums online. People were really fighting discussing if Raya is a real Disney princess or she's not really a princess because she's not really royal, like not a part of a royal family or something like this. Really, these discussions were so serious that I got a little bit scared. I don't know, I'm not such a big fighter for the purity of Disney characters' blood, so I think we can include Raya to the club of Disney princess characters. And you know, I really love making Disney princesses dolls, so I just couldn't miss this opportunity to make this new beautiful Raya doll. My mom is gonna help me with the outfit, of course, because it's a very complicated outfit, very unusual designs there. Well, and I'm gonna do all the rest. So, let's start working. Of course, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss my new doll repaint videos. Hit the bell button. Of course, support my art here on YouTube with your likes. And I'm going to start working. Let's make Raya. And this is the doll that we will repaint today. This is actually a regular Draculaura doll, but I think she will become just a perfect Raya if we work on her a little bit. So let's undress her and then we'll cut her hair off. I use like always hot air of my hair dryer to make the rubber head soft and to melt the old glue inside of the head and later we can easily disconnect the head from the body and remove the rest of the hair that is still sitting inside. And after this I will remove her face with pure acetone. I could actually keep the black paint on her head, I will give her dark hair anyway, but it all feels, I don't know, some quite old and sticky, so I better just remove it all and start from zero, applying everything new and fresh, and I would also have to cover this hair split with black paint so or so, so let's remove this blackness and paint it all again. Okay, here we go, the fresh start, and now let's give her new dark brown hair. And when all the new hair strands are sitting in their holes, I can add glue to the inside of the head and then I will let it dry for a day or two. When the glue gets dry, I seal her face with our Mr. Super Clear sealant. It will make the rubber surface matte and we will be able to draw on it with watercolor pencils. So, Raya is a Southeast Asian girl. She is tanned. She has very natural makeup. 
and this is what we will try to draw here today. I start like always with sketching the main facial features, the eyes, the eyebrows, eyelids, I don't know, lips maybe a little bit, and after this we will work on her skin tone. So and now we have to turn our pale and pink Draculora into a tanned girl from the south using soft pastels and I will have to apply well, quite a couple of layers of them trying to create a very warm sun-kissed skin tone. And when I'm satisfied with the skin, I can go back to my pencils and draw the rest of the face. Okay, the face looks super cute, now let's also blush her body because we've got quite a dramatic difference here today. And for this I will first sand the body with nail buffers to make the plastic matte, then I will seal it with Mr. Super Clear and then I will blush it with the same pastels like we've just used on her face. So now the face and the body look like parts of one person and it means we can move on with this project and now I think I want to style her hair. Raya wears her hair down and on top of the head she has two braids. So let's do it, let's go. And this is where I've ended up with her hair. It looks super cute. I'm very happy right now and it didn't take that long today. 
So now let's attach the false lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips and then we'll check out how my mom is doing there working on the outfit because she has quite a difficult job today because Raya's outfit looks quite complicated. You can see it now on the pictures, she wears a pair of white pants, a top with this very interesting detail going around her neck, a vest and on top of everything she has this gorgeous red coat so it's quite a lot of pieces of clothes and all of them also have some interesting and you can say unusual construction so now you can see my mom doing her best trying to recreate the look she's starting with the pants making a fold on the front part of them and then attaching the folded front parts to the unfolded back parts This is how it looks connected and pressed, the side of the fold my mom has decorated with a machine embroidery and now she needs just to connect the right and the left legs together and the pants are quite finished, I don't know it sounds so easy when you describe it like this but in reality I think it took a while to finish the pants. Then my mom is making the top and the vest, this step is of course a little bit easier than the pants and the vest she is making out of a piece of real leather. And then she still needs to make the gorgeous red coat. So and here is the finished outfit and this is just a pure perfection guys, really. Everything looks so 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 good, the coat looks just luxurious with this lining, really beautiful. The pants are extremely adorable with the embroidery and the top and the vest they also look just like on the pictures, like the right ones. So now I think I can put it all on our doll and then we'll make shoes and all the whole bunch of accessories. I want to start probably with some smaller details, let's make a belt using warbler thermoplastic and a piece of golden wire. This is what we've built, so now let's paint it with acrylics and add some shadows with soft pastels. Thank you. 
And then the front of the belt I want to decorate with golden nail stickers. Now the belt is finished, let's put it on the doll and let's see how it all looks together. Yeah, very good, it looks like it should. Well, that was quite easy and now let's make a pair of boots using, of course, also our thermoplastic. Raya puts the bottom of her pants into the boots, so the top of the boots supposed to be quite wide. There should be some space for these pants to go in and that's why I'm wrapping first the doll's legs with a piece of paper towel and then I cover it with tape to make these legs a little bit thicker before I sculpt the boots around the legs. Okay, like this is gonna be good probably, so now I can start building the boots out of Warbler. I warm it up with a hair dryer, Warbler becomes soft, so I can shape whatever I want out of it. And when it cools down, it will become hard like normal plastic again. Voila, here are the boots and the top looks wide enough to me. So now let's cover them with acrylics and then we'll combine the boots with the pants. Well, okay, now it's finally the moment of truth. Let's see if our pants can fit inside of the boots. I will put some elastic around her ankles, like this it would be a little bit easier to do things. seems to be working just fine check it out I'm very happy about it the pants and the boots they look perfect together 
So now let's still make a pair of bracers and you can see that she has different bracers on different hands and different arms. Uh, the left one looks like some, I don't know, leather straps put together and the right one has a little bit more sophisticated design and I especially like this part on her fist. So let's make them. And here they are, the finished bracers. Now the project starts to look quite finished, but I still want to make the traditional Asian hat to complete the look. And I start with making a base out of thin carton. And on top of this hard base, I'm going to build the hat out of warbler. So this is where I've ended up so far and now I want to add some texture to the hat and for this I will first cover it with foam coat. I really love this product lately. It's really good for everything and for filling in some holes and for adding extra texture, really nice. So 
So I apply a layer of this foam coat, I smooth it out with a wet finger and then I'm going to take this piece of Easter decoration and I will press it onto this fresh layer of foam coat and then I will let it dry. And this is it, this is it, it looks already super cool guys, now let's paint it with dark brown acrylics and then I will dry brush it, just the top of it, with lighter colors to show this texture even better. So and here is the finished hat, now let's put it all on a doll and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. Wait guys, you know, I was going to skip her sword because I had kind of no time so I thought, okay, no sword today. But now when I'm recording it, it's already like Wednesday late afternoon. I have already finished like pre-cutting, pre-editing the video and I feel like I still have some 24 hours to make a sword and I really want to make it because it would really make this character, this project, the Raya's look absolutely complete and she has a very cool sword so I would really love to make it now so I really have literally 24 hours for it so let's do it quickly, let's go! She has quite a big sword with an unusual wavy shape of the steel part of it and with a double dragon decoration. So it's quite an unusual and complicated design. But let's try to make it out of Warblow, of course.
well and it looks quite good already so now let's paint it all with acrylics and also add shadows and ornaments The middle of the sword I decorate with blue rhinestones and I think the sword is kind of finished, really right on time. It took me yeah, exactly 24 hours to make it non-stop. And I'm really happy I've made it, so now let's take a look at the end result pictures for real this time. So guys, here is the brand new Disney princess in a doll form, say hello to our mini Raya girl. And I'm really really happy that in 2021 all beautiful Southeast Asian girls and boys finally got their own Disney princess. And I don't know, it seems they've done quite a good job with this character as well as with the film. I don't know, I'm probably not the biggest expert in it. I've been just once to Thailand some years ago from all this huge Southeast Asian region. So my knowledge of this beautiful part of the world is very, very limited. But I thought Disney made it really good this time. But I would really love to hear what actual people from that part of the world think about the new princess and about the representation in their land in the movie. I don't know, at least I felt an unbearable urge to go back to Thailand immediately after watching the movie, really. Immediately. Well, immediately means when the borders go open again and I would go really everywhere. And to Thailand, and the Philippines, and to Bali. And Vietnam, they say, is really nice. Gosh, I would go just everywhere, anywhere. And talking about the doll, I think my mom has outdone herself once again because this outfit is a real masterpiece and it looks just like the original outfit in the movie, so I'm really happy happy today. So guys, and now let's discuss the movie and the doll and the outfit in the comments under this video. And if you're suddenly a new Raya fan, then you can find this doll on eBay. She will be there for three days for sale, so please check the link in the description box down below under this video. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button. And I will see you already very soon next week, Friday, in my new doll repaint video. Yes, the next week it will be 100% a new upload, because I'm already quite on the late stages of the project. So, see you in seven days. Have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.